Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a haul. So I have stuff. Sephora. Ulta. And Target. Accumulated a lot of stuff in the past few weeks. I just haven't like used it, so it's still in the bag or some things I've used, but I put back to kind of just go with the flow and show you. Um, so I'm gonna basically just show you guys what I got talk about if I've used it yet if I haven't and like why I picked it up remember if you haven't subscribed please click that button down below subscribe so you can see all the videos I'm posting keep up with me and give this video a like if you enjoy it what should we start with if you want to see what I got from Ulta Sephora and Target then please keep watching all right so let's start with Sephora got the little bag here Okay, so two things I got. Now, Sephora is super dangerous because I feel like a lot of the stuff there is obviously like higher end, so it can be pretty expensive. I got two things and I got them from the same brand. So the stuff I got is from Tatcha. If you know about Tatcha, then you're probably gonna know it ain't cheap on the bank. Um, but okay, so if you've heard of this, then you've probably been hearing all about their new primer. It's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. It's a filter finish protective primer for all skin types. Invisible layers of silk instantly filter away imperfections and impurities for, all alluring, for alluring skin all day and over time. It blurs the look of pores, primes with silk powder for long-lasting flawless makeup, protects your skin from makeup and pollution, color corrects with a universal shade, and anti-aging, so Japanese superfoods that help restore the look of youthful radiance. <sighs> you guys. I'm not proud of what I spent on this primer. But after all the reviews I've been seeing of the YouTubers that are like well-known reviewing this I was dying to try it so it's so cute comes in this package here you pull this out I've already used it but I put it back in here just to show you guys the packaging of what you get so then it comes in here and it has a little tool with it I'll explain that for you so this is what it looks like and this is the tool you get with it Okay, so what you do is this twists off. It looks like this. I've already used it. The way you use it, and you use such a small amount, so this is going to last a while. This tool here with their logo on the back, you see how there's that line there? I'm not going to do it right now because I already used it earlier today. But you just swipe this on here until you get to that line. This side of it is so small. Um... And that's all the product you use. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture on my story and it was like dots all over my face. That's how they recommend you apply it. So you take whatever you have on the little chip here, put it all over your face, dab in small circles, and then rub it in. And it literally, like I love the way my face looks just with this primer on. If I'm like running out or whatever, I'm using this for like a week now and I'm obsessed. Second thing from Tatcha is their Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is like so talked about. And I know that if people have oily skin, this isn't like the most ideal spray. And there's a lot of finishing sprays um, or priming sprays. But this is for normal to dry skin. So I, I'd say I have like dry to combo. Like it's not a huge deal if this is dewy. Shake gently, mist two, three spritzes onto face for a boost of hydration and glow under or over makeup. So I got the trial size. There's a full size, but I wasn't sure if I liked it yet, so it has a pump here, and you can just spray it all over, and it gives you that dewy finish, which just means it looks, like, more natural instead of so matte, which is, like, dried down and, like, as flat and smooth as possible. This gives, like, a dewy effect to that, so I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet. Let's go to Ulta. So this is actually a combination of two trips. I kind of just like threw it all into one bag, so don't think I'm crazy. So, from Ulta. <laughs> I don't know where to start. <sighs> uh. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you, I lost my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette like a couple months ago after I went on a trip. I can't remember where I put it. I swear I packed it to come home, but I don't know. I must have left it somewhere. So it's like the powder contour kit. I have a contour stick that's dark and I like that, but I also like powder for brightening under eyes, your forehead, um, and stuff like that. So I got the Tarte contour palette. This is the Park Ave Princess. Let's see. I haven't opened this one yet. I mean, I swatched it at the store, but the packaging is just, I love the gold. Like, so look at this. So if I can, oh, I can open it up. So it says chiseled like a diamond because you're doing your contouring and it has a nice mirror. It looks like this. These are the colors you're working with. So you have lighter colors here that you can do under eye, center your face, forehead. Um, some other colors that could either be used bronzer or you can use for contouring on your cheekbones, forehead, nose, stuff like that. So. I need a full palette and I love that it has a mirror in it. This is like really nice, so I'm excited about that. Next, I actually got this today. I almost just hit myself in the face. Um, it's the Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. I've used this a million times. I don't even know how many bottles I've used. But they had it on sale today at Ulta for $2.99, so that was like the main reason I went there. Best dry shampoo. Okay, I got two of these. I already kind of ripped them open, but Makeup Revolution. Um, these are, are their Retro Luxe matte lip kit and metallic lip kit i didn't use the metallic lip one yet so i'll show you in there i already used the matte lip it was in color rain so i don't have the actual things in there that are over on my vanity so the metallic lip kit comes with a gloss and a liner so i don't know i thought that was cool it's called we rule i like when it comes with the liner and the lip gloss i'm not putting that back Next two things that got to go together, so I got this Botanics Albright with Hibiscus Micellar 3-in-1 Cleansing Solution. So I have been seeing this, and what you can pretty much do with this is like use in the morning and at night. Obviously I clean and wash my face, but sometimes if I wake up in the morning and I'm going to the gym, I'm not going to like full out wash my face, wash it again when I get home, wash it at night, I don't want to dry it out too much. So what you can do is take this and apply it to um, like a cotton ball or a cotton pad, you can go over like your entire face just quickly and you don't have to wa wash it off so it just makes sure all your makeup and stuff is out of the way so I got the cotton pads that I'm just going to use put on here when I wake up if I'm running to the gym so when I bought those my sister just sneezed did you know the makeup revolution lip kits they gave me a free gift so it's just a says makeup pigment and highlighter palette so we'll see there's some interesting colors in here i don't know next i picked up a new real technique sponge so this is the face and body it's much bigger than a regular sponge like i'm honestly hype to use this i want to open it right now oh my god look at it so it's huge like this is my cheek so it'll be so easy to do foundation and stuff like that i saw someone i watched use this okay so next thing i got a restock on my shape tape concealer in the color light i will never stop using this it's the best concealer on the planet literally so i got a new one of that um and then i got these to try because i'm curious because shape tape isn't like crazy expensive let me look eh, I mean it is for concealer like if you're just going to like a drugstore shape tape is like 27 I think these were like nine so this is makeup revolution their concealer these were like eight or nine dollars um I got it in two colors because I couldn't quite tell without being able to swatch it um so I'm curious to see how these do as a cheaper alternative all right, last two sets of things I got. The first one is new makeup wipes. And the last couple things I've picked up from Ulta in the past few weeks are Not Your Mother's collection of their Blonde Moment. I already used this, so I just quick grabbed it from the shower, so it's like kind of wet. But it's their Blonde Moment treatment. 
So I got the shampoo and the conditioner. Obviously my hair is like much lighter if you've known me for a while than it ever has been and I want it to stay this like light color, kind of like ashy almost. I don't want it to be super golden. Obviously it has some tones in it but this is going to help with the brassiness. And it's cheap. These were like $8 each. And then the third product is their Seal and Protect Leave-In. Okay, you guys probably think I'm crazy. But it's been like a few trips and I put all that stuff together just to show you guys what I've grabbed. Okay, so a few things from Target. I got a new phone case and a pop socket. Hot pink because why not? And the pop socket is gold. They have to match and I thought that was cute. This color was actually on sale. They had other patterns, but the hot pink was on sale for like 16 or something. So I was like, what the heck? I'll go hot pink. I don't care. Just finished a couple of days ago, last week actually, my favorite book on the planet, which is Gary Vee's book, Crushing It. It's really motivating, inspiring, and it's just like, you have to read it to understand. The first one I grabbed to kind of replace that vibe of a book from Gary Vee is 13 things that mentally strong people don't do so it says take back your power embrace change face your fears and train your brain for happiness and success so i just love books like this um and i've heard of this one a bunch so i'm really curious to read it so i got three other books and these are all like books of poems basically and quotes so I'm the type of person, if you go on my pictures on my phone, I have a ridiculous amount of screenshots from all just quotes from Instagrams, websites, stuff like that, Pinterest, whatever. Um, I'm obsessed. So when I saw like there was a couple of books at Target, I started looking through and I loved a lot of them. So the first one is called Heart Talk by Cleo Weed. So this one says poetic wisdom for a better life. I'll read one from each book. So let's just pick a random page. So this one kind of has like um, a poem over here and then like a little like excerpt type thing about it. So this one says, you deserve your dreams. Who else could they possibly belong to more than you? The next one is called Pillow Thoughts. So this one's cool because it has like little chapters of different types of poems. So it says, if you are dreaming of someone, if you are in love, if you are hope or heartbroken, if you are lonely, if you are sad, if you are missing someone, if you need encouragement, if you are soul searching, if you need a reason to stay, these are for you. So I'm going to pick from the chapter, if you need encouragement, I'm going to read one. So this one is, but life is not about half doing. You cannot half love or half accept or half live. It's about giving everything you have. When you are old and worn, do you really want to look back and say you gave the bare minimum? You owe yourself more than that. And the last one is called Love Her Wild. I love like some of the artwork and stuff in this one. If you can see, like the pages aren't just white and I like that. So let's pick one. This one says, there is nothing prettier in the whole wide world than a girl in love with every breath she takes. I love these. They're just like, I don't know. It's inspiring. Oh my god, when you have five dogs, I don't even know. That was like a short, quick video, but I figured I would show you guys a haul of what I've uh, picked up in the past, like, I'd say two weeks. Um, the Tatcha is like my favorite product out of all of this stuff and I know it's like expensive but I think it's worth it totally I wouldn't just like drop this if I didn't hear so many good things about it a lot like a good amount of stuff is relatively cheap so like the not your mother's brand stuff all these books um makeup revolution is cheap let me know if you guys have any questions on any of the stuff I picked up like why I grabbed it what I think of it um I'll be reviewing some of the things I haven't used yet, I'm sure, within the next couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.